And I next invite Mrs. Grace Marley, Pacific Youth Fellow, to make her presentation. Ms. Marley, you have the floor. Thank you. Holo mai vaka o te fua vaka e holo i te manu. Au he hapole i au he tautai o tautai. Excellencies, honorable leaders, distinguished guests, and global citizens, ta alofa o tou malu. I am from the beautiful islands of Tuvalu, a nation that most of you have never visited, but one that is at the very heart of the climate crisis. In Tuvalu, you look to the right and to the left, all you see is the ocean. Year after year, with the tropical cyclones and king tides, the waters get closer, swallowing more of our land and our homes. But it's more than just our homes at stake. It's our dignity, our culture, our heritage. It is not something we can pack into suitcases and take with us. It is a living, breathing part of who we are. And when our islands become uninhabitable, so too do the places where our ancestors danced the fatele, where our elders shared stories, and where we, the next generation, were meant to continue these traditions. Our identity is tied to this Fenua and our Moana. I started with a traditional dance chant about a Tautai, or a master fisherman. For generations, they have stood as symbols of wisdom, patience, and resilience. His craft is not just about catching fish. It's about reading the tides, sensing the shift in the winds, and knowing when the ocean is giving or when it is holding back. He adapts, and so must we. So, let us use our climate change agreements as our canoes, climate finance as our paddles, the winds whispering advice from our ancestors, the youths as stars to navigate uncharted waters. Let the catch of the day be a sustainable future where my descendants get to remain in Tuvalu. To the international leaders, do you want to be the kind of Tautai who ignores the rising tides? Or will you be the kind who learns, adapts, and urgently acts for the future? We demand climate justice because time is running out. As you debate, the waves of the ocean erodes a part of the island. As you continuously discuss, hopes of a Tuvaluan youth vanish. As you, de as you delay implementing the Paris Agreement or paying for loss and damage, the identity of not just Tuvaluans, but other big ocean states are at stake. We have done the least to cause the crisis but we are paying the highest price. We will not go quietly into the rising sea. We will continue the fight for our land, for our culture, for our future. But we cannot do it alone. We need your solidarity. We need the best Tautai to lead the way. Farafdai Lassi, thank you. <laughs>